All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Waharaka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, and taught us this truth. All right, I just got um, an article here I want to read from. All right, it says uh, Neuralink wants three more quadriplegic patients for its brain control interface trial. Elon Musk's Neuralink is recruiting another three subjects for its brain implant study. The first patient received their implant in January. Neuralink was quick to show off evidence of the technology's effectiveness in March. At least in terms of the subject being able to play some games before admitting this month that there were a few problems. All right, so, you know, this has just come about in the news. There's talks of this. Um, so, you know, basically we've been speaking about this, man, you know, about the MOTB you know about this implant all right the c hip all right you know the chip basically you know and we know we're that much closer to that time where it's going to become introduced you know and, and made mandatory man right now they're doing these trials they're doing these testings and we're just warning you about the prophecies man right because this is going to come to pass where soon it's going to be you know they're going to present it to the whole world man as being mandatory all right now they're doing these tests and, and um, on these people with um, these conditions, right? You know, paralyzed and different um, situations like that. And this is all a part of the them selling it, all right? They're selling that implant, man. All right, with these different companies, Elon Musk and uh, Neuralink and these different companies that are out there. All right now, it says. Um, Let's read down. It says, just being added to the clinical trials database does not imply approval by regulators. And Neuralink has come under fire for not sharing more information about the technology involved. However, the company's registration hints that more might be forthcoming as the trial progresses. All right. Yeah, so they're not going to expose everything. They're not going to tell the people everything that they're doing and that's going on right now. But we know that they're closer than they're letting on. All right. They're just telling you about the things that they want you to know about. All right, but in the background, they got these things ready, man. It says, as for who is eligible to sign up for the attention of Musk robot brain surgeon, Neuralink is seeking subjects aged from 22 to 75 with severe quadriplegia due to spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis um, for at least one year without improvement where quadriplegia is defined as having very limited or no hand, wrist and arm movement and all levels below. Healthy subjects are not wanted, nor are the morbidly obese or anyone with an active device already implanted. The implant involved is the N1, which will be implanted by the R1 robot, a robotic electrode thread inserter. According to the treatment described in the study, as well as publishing tweet friendly content dealing detailing success stories researchers will be on the lookout for adverse events in the 72 months following the procedure right so yeah so we've been speaking about this as well man the transhumanism all right merging man with robot you know and, and these are the times that we're in man and this is what's been going on so you know this is all in the scriptures all right we're in a time of prophecy all right so i want to read this here this is revelation 16 and 14 for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Okay, so Yahweh Bashmi you know, you know, these are the prophecies, you know, that would be happening before the Lord brings great judgment. <clears throat> All right, and it's said that they are the spirits of devils working miracles. So that's what's going on, All right? Making the blind see, you know, uh, Given mobility to you know those that are paralyzed through this technology through the the implant you know uh, these are uh, different um things that they're using right their electrodes and how they hook it up to the brain you know and all these different things that they're trialing and they've been testing on all right so these are how, these are the things and some of the ways that they're going to present it they're going to give people the positives you know which are really you know like like the scriptures tell you, it's it's um it's the spirit of devils, man. 
Because really it's all deception. Because ultimately it's going to fail. There's going to be different uh, um, mechanisms that fail. There's going to be things that's not going to go right. There's, there's a lot of trial and error with this thing. But they're going to ha have it running for a certain while to make people think that that's the way to go. That that's the solution to all the problems. That's how they're, they're, they're going to get rid of um, cybercrime. <laughs> or, you know, more security for finance, you know. You know, uh, 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 improving people's health, you know, biometrics, you know, me um, measuring the body. All right. People with ailments and, um, you know, different, uh, you know, disabilities, they can use this and it will improve them. But that's all. It's all uh, spirits of devils working miracles, man, because ultimately it's all going to fail. It's not going to come fully to how they want it to go, because this is all a part of their NWO agenda to have all the people you know, tracked, traced, monitored and have them under, you know, their rule with this implant, man. Everything is going to be on there. So that's that's their goal. All right. But that's their, you know, what they're plotting. You know, it's going to come with, with basically a trap. All right. So let, let's read that. This is Revelations chapter 13 and 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay? So that's the goal of these wicked elites, all right? These Edomites, the so-called white men, the the one the the rich uh, elite banking families and and those that are ruling. This is their agenda. The NWO. Whoever the people are in society, whether they're celebrities, rich and famous or in prison, whatever position they're in, they want them to all be walking around and have that uh, implant, right? Whether it's in their brain or whether it's just in, in their uh, another part of their body. Okay, and what they're going to use with that, they're going to use the, the reader, okay, to scan, you know, and they're going to be able to do what? They're going to be able to do, you know, all different types of things in the new system they set up with it. So what's going to happen to those that don't have it? All right, look, let's read on. It says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so those that don't have it they're not going to be able to buy and sell all right showing you that it's dealing with the money the transactions all right because they're going to have uh you know the personal id all on that c-hip and they're going to have uh medical history records uh, um you know all different types of information all on that on that um implant Okay, and people are walking around with this as we speak. There's people in Sweden that use it um, commonly, all right, for opening doors, locking doors, um, buying and paying for things with in vending machines, all right, paying for train tickets. You got places in Spain, all right, like clubs where you you got to use that implant to get in. All right, different parts of Europe and America, they have this technology already out running people where they had um you know uh, there was a document doc you know or presenter or, or reporter basically on the bbc news and he basically got the the implant live what you know basically recorded him getting it so this is a technology that's out there man but we're gonna see it increase more and more and be pushed more heavily in these last days because this is the prophecies that is gonna happen it's gonna come to pass where it's gonna be mandatory all right, and people that don't have it, they're going to be off grid somewhere. They're not going to be able to buy and sell. They're not going to be able to be up in the supermarkets, be up in the the um, um, employment, you know, sectors of jobs, paying for bills and costs and all these things. The whole system is going to change over to something new. This is Revelation chapter three. And verse 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Okay, so you, you're going to have those that are going to be delivered and preserved and kept away from the, you know, the temptation of receiving that MOTB. Okay, and those are going to be the elect, the, the servants of the Lord, the ones that continued doing the work of the Lord, the ones that had faith in, in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and doing the works. You know, having faith, obeying and following, trusting in the Lord until the end. 
Okay, the Lord said that the reward, the recompense is I'm going to deliver you from that that time, man. Okay, it says I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Yeah, because you're going to have the whole world being tempted, you know, to, to continue their way of life or to not be completely messed up. And how how is that going to be presented to them? Oh, you don't you want to keep your income, right? You want to keep your job, right? You don't want to lose your house, right? You don't want to lose all these things. Well, then take the this this implant. And many people, they're going to go through that temptation, that time where they're going to be tempted and they're going to take it. But you're going to have those of the elect that are not going to take it. They're going to have faith and the Lord is going to deliver them. Whether that means being able to eat, you know, maybe going without food, maybe going without certain things for a certain time, but the Lord will ultimately provide. All right, because that's how a lot of people are going to get, you know, weak with man. You know, the the because the scriptures tell you they that be slain uh, with the sword is better than they that are slain with hunger. All right, people, when they ain't got anything to eat, that's the worst way to go. They start withering away, you know, they, they, they become weaker. And that's how they're going to get a lot of people, man. You know, and, and with things of that are holding them and tying them to the material things of this world. All right, so that's why we need the Lord, man. All right, the Lord for everything. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So it's going to be a test. And it's going to be worldwide. And you're going to have those that are going to have their lives threatened. But even in death, the Lord can deliver them. You know, there is a reward for having faith in the Lord, man. But it's not going to go... How these uh, devils think it's going to go, man. It's, it's not going to, you know, come fully into where they're going to get the rulership forever. They're going to have all the people implanted and, and, and they're slaves. No, it's not going to go like that. Because those that take it, what's going to happen? They're going to receive the judgment. All right. And especially in America. All right. When America is destroyed by nuclear missiles as a result of World War Three, when all this hell and chaos is going on, they're going to be destroyed. All right, this is Revelations 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So that's Babylon being America. All right. It's doomed. All right. It is fallen. And its destiny is to fall. All right. It's talking about America. That is that great city, that place that everybody is all looking to, that everybody follows. All right. That everybody, you know, is is in that, that you know, taking the hold of their philosophies and their doctrines, man. That's that wine, all right. Following after their ways, all right. That idolatry, you know. So those that are joined onto that and those that agree with that, they're gonna go down with it, all right. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image, and that beast, you know, being uh, um, the Roman Empire." Which is coming back today through the uh, through NATO and the EU, all right? They're going to be involved in this uh, process heavily. Okay. So the whole NWO system that they're going to establish, you're going to have people that are going to be worshiping that and following after that. They're going to be in line and agreement with it. And this is what's going to happen. And it says, and worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So the fury and wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be upon those that take that see it. Those that get the implant and follow after the ways of this world and follow after you know the the, the NWO that are in agreement with Esau and his system. The Lord is going to be put pouring that wrath on them, man. They ain't going to be able to repent. Okay, it says, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. The Lord's going to have righteous anger towards those that are following after, uh, you know, this way. And those that receive that implant. They ain't going to be able to, to repent from that. It says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So when the missiles come, when that fiery judgment takes place. You're going to have people that are going to be burned to death. They're going to die, you know, uh, uh, trusting in the devil, man, Esau, you know, and the ways of this wicked world. They're going to go down with it. And it's going to be torment. All right. When those missiles drop, when the, when the fire comes 
these people they're going to be consumed man all right and it's all going to be in the presence of the 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 angels the lord the elect they're going to see that fiery destruction and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name so it's really that trap people think taking that implant and all these implants that they're testing and that they're going to present is going to be some you know trailblazing groundbreaking new way to get everything back on its feet and improve the world but really it's a trap and it's going to end in fire and destruction man america you know being on fire for a prolonged time all right so really those that take that that implant is, is really a nail in their coffin all right so it says here is the patience of the saints here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the faith of Yahweh Shai. So yeah, that, you know, there's going to be the trials and tribulations, you know, going through the sufferings. But those that, you know, keep the commandments the best they're able, having faith in the Lord, the Lord is going to reward them. All right? The patience of the saints, which are the Israelites. So salvation is coming. Although these horrible times are coming, these testings and these trials and tribulations are coming, and the judgment and destruction is coming. There will be deliverance. Okay. For the uh, the chosen few. Right. So this was just an article that, I, you know, I wanted to pick some stuff out, you know, from, um, from the news that I've seen. All right. We're in a time of prophecy, man. We're in a time where, you know, the MOTB is around the corner. All right. It's fastly approaching. So, you know, this is the time we're in. So I want to end it here. I want to say all praises be to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us his truth and to the elect. Shalom.